welcome back to my channel and today I have got a budget store haul to show you so I'll just get straight into it. Um, I picked up some washing up gloves, boring but pound for two pairs. I got some salt and pepper shakers which were 1.49, cute and I like them because they're a bit vintage. I got this box because um, I need somewhere to put the essential oils that I've started collecting and this is the best place for them so they can be sealed in and not stink the cupboard out. I have a vinegar uh, drizzler pouring bottle which was a pound and um, a, I don't know what you call it, is it cracked glass or yeah crackle glass. <laughs> it's um, I think it's supposed to be for a candle but I'm actually going to use it for um, flowers. Um, I'll show you, I've got two different types of flowers, I don't know why I got two, I think I got a bit confused and thought I hadn't picked any up. Um, so here's this one, the reason I have ooh, artificial flowers is because I don't like picking flowers just, for, personally for me, I don't like picking them because then they die and it's really sad so fake plastic ones, I'm not sure which ones will look best in the jar. I think this one actually I might have to cut some of the stems off the bottom but if you can see that really cute. So they were I don't know how much they I think they're about 450 each anyway. I got some tiny little candles because I fell in love with these. The tiny ones are not for this one. Uh there's a big one and there is a small one and that's what the small ones are for to go in there. Um, what else? Oh, bacon soda. Two bottles of bacon soda. Brilliant for cleaning with. Love it. Pound each. Bargain. Tatey Musher because I threw mine out by an accident. Not even sure why I did that. I got this cute little jar to put garlic in and I'm sure you're not supposed to have a lid on garlic so I'm have to leave the little cork top out but that is really cute and that was like 129 or something. Another candle jar, S for Shelly, two pound. In fact it wasn't two pound actually, it was one, I think one pound because it was reduced. You can see I love a bargain. I've got this curver box to put, um, the things that I use in the dryer, like the bowls and the the little, what do you call them things? Sheets, dryer sheets, many things. You'll see that on my next video, which is actually going to be my little mini makeover of the kitchen. So hopefully um, you'll come back and watch that one. I got a new insect net for the patio door because I'm terrified of bees, wasps, anything that might bite or sting. So these are great, I get one every year, but by the time the summer's finished, they're a bit ruined, so I always get a new one. What else? Hold on. I got ugh, two tubs of Vim. Vim? I haven't seen Vim since the 70s, and I'm sure my age now, but Vim. Oh, it smells lovely. Good for scouring, especially the bath, because my bath's nasty, which is another video in itself. So I got two tubs of Vim. I got a glass jar. Oh, the Vim pound each. Yeah, pound each, total bargain. A jar for dishwasher tablets to go in because mine always get wet and then they get stick together and so if they're sealed in there, they shouldn't get wet, hopefully. This was reduced to six pound. It's a candle holder. I think it's gonna look really nice. I love it. Really cheap. And I got three of these. Um, because I did the kitchen, sorry I'm here. Because I did the kitchen makeover, I decided I didn't want loads of stuff on the benches. So these are going to have tea, coffee and sugar. And I'm going to put them in the cupboard so they are out of sight. Near the end now. I think I've only got one more thing left. Which is this... It's a cutting board, but it actually has um, liquid temperatures, measures, like the conversions from um, pints, metric, cups, fluid ounces, Celsius, Fahrenheit, gas mark, spoons, metric, imperial metric, 
So teaspoons to mils to ounces to grams. I'm not actually going to use it as a cutting board, I'm just going to use it for help when I'm actually cooking. And I think it'll just look nice standing on the, on the side of the bench. So I think that is it. So that was a bit of a whiz through. It's going to be a very quick video, I think, but that's okay. Um, if you want to know, um, I think the, the shops they came from were the range pound stretcher and I did get a few things in Dunelm so I don't think a lot of stuff's available online but if you want to know which thing came from which shop I can definitely tell you that if you ask in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this super fast video I think it's literally going to be like three or four minutes but if you did enjoy it then I would love it if you would subscribe um, so that you can come back and see more content like this. If you have any questions about any of the things I've bought or if you like any of them, then I would love it if, if you put something in the comments below. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.